Hello, this is Sims Art. The Other Falling in the Blue, currently published on Webtoon. Today I'm going to show you how to create a webcomic from scratch. In this episode, we will see how to make a new project, how to set multiple pages, and how to arrange a workspace in Clip Studio Paint for a comfortable webcomic creation experience. Every webcomic starts with character design and a great storytelling. This is a script example. For this tutorial, I will assume you already have a script and some characters designed. Once you have everything ready, we just start a new project. In order to create a webcomic project, you just have to go in File, New, and select the right resolution. As you can see, I already have a preset called Webtoon, and the width is set to 1600 pixels, and the height is set to 30,000. The resolution is 300 dpi. Basic expression, color, paper color. I set the custom color that you will find in the description. Webtoon allows file to have 800 pixel width and there is no height limit. But as you can see, I use 1600 because I like to work with a high resolution. So my starting point is 1600 by 30,000. Working on higher resolution helps to have a sharper picture and to add more detail into the design. It also helps in case of future printing needs. Once we have the new file, I like to set the document with multiple pages by going in Story, Add Page. Here we can select the location where to create the story folder. In this case, I select Desktop. The Management File folder, we can change the name to something that we like. Press OK to confirm. A new tab with the pages that we have is created automatically. As you can see, now we have page one and page two, and they both share the same size. That is selected going into story, change basic page settings. Here we can change the basic settings and the next page that we will create will follow these rules. You can set up a specific number of pages when creating a new document, but usually the number may vary according to the design. So adding a page one by one when needed is my favorite method. But for the sake of clarity, I want to show you how to create a folder with multiple pages from the get-go. So we go in File, New, select multiple pages, set the page to our favorite size and select a number of pages. In this case, I want to select 10. Paper color. At this point, we select the folder, desktop, and then we rename the folder. Press OK and Clip Studio will do the rest. It's creating a folder on desktop, and inside the folder, there will be a management folder called My Comic, and 10 pages that will be our pages of the comic. Let's see how to set the workspace. Workspace is the set of tabs that we have on our program at any moment in time. When working on Webtoon, I like to use a personalized workspace. Everyone has their favorite options based on their style, but Webtoons has a very unique look, and I think that setting the workspace to be comfortable is a priority. Working on web comics means working on a vertical format. So in my workspace, I decided to use a large navigator with a vertical shape, so I can take a quick look on the entire page flow without zooming in and out too much. Another important aspect is colors. I like to have my color palettes always ready and keep them consistent through the whole project. This is why color wheel, color set and color history have a dedicated column 
I like to keep the materials, and specifically all the balloon presets available in Clip Studio Paint from the get-go. Like here. Layer and Layer Property tabs are always showing in order to arrange all the layers quickly and keep them well organized. For anything else, link to my workspace will be available in the description and available as an asset on Clip Studio Paint website. At this point, we can finally start sketching, but we will discuss about this in the next video. I hope you'll find this information useful, and for any question, leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can find more about my work on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. See you next time.